Elixir Energy Managing Director, Neil Young in Adelaide in South Australia. Neil, you've been working really hard in Mongolia. Where is that project at at this time? I mean, the project is one of those uh, things I would characterize as an overnight success that's, that's taken a decade. So I first went to Mongolia in 2011 to seek a coal seam gas asset and a negotiated one with the government. Then that was backdoor listed into Elixir at the end of 2018. And since then, we've prosecuted an exploration and appraisal program through the heart of COVID in 2020 and has some very, very encouraging results, which has now provided us with a platform to announced today a significant expansion of our efforts funded by um, uh, a new and existing shareholders. So tell me about the capital raise, $10 million from institutional sophisticated professional investors? Correct. So that uh, placement we opened on Monday morning and closed on Monday lunchtime. Uh, pleasingly oversubscribed. We, we cut it back to our target. And what we've announced today is a very significant um, addition to that through a share purchase plan targeted at all our uh, vast numbers of, of, of shareholders who've been very supportive in prior capital raisings and, of course, on market. And our board really wanted to give all of those shareholders a chance to participate on the same terms as the institutional and sophisticated investors. So what will you be looking for through that share purchase plan? We've indicated a target of 20 million. I mean, these things can be quite hard to predict. If we, if we, if we get less, then we've, we've got more than enough to do a, a very good program. If we get more, then we might cut it back or, 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 or might not. The board hasn't made a final decision on that. But we think 20 is a reasonable target given the size of the shareholder base and their enthusiasm for the company. Well, let's say you do raise $30 million. That's an awful lot of money for exploration. I'd slightly spin that around and saying in traditional oil and gas, it's probably not a lot. You know, it might pay for half an offshore well or, or a good onshore well. But in coal seam gas in Mongolia, that pays for a lot of wells. We see the money roughly being split in a one third much more exploration and appraisal core holes, and one third a very substantial expansion of a seismic program, including a 3D element, and then one third accelerating pilot production testing. Although I've had up all my thirds, a bit left over for geological uh, and of course working capital needs. So at what price was the capital raise done? So that was done at 36 cents, which was a 20% discount to the last traded figure and about a 16% discount to 10-day VWAP. So we think, you know, pretty, pretty fairly priced in the context of the recent trading. There are many companies that are exploring for oil and gas at the moment. One that comes to mind, uh, Strike Energy in Australia, and it has a much lower a share price than where Elixir's is at the moment. Is there really going to be room for so many gas players? Oh, well, I think there is because the, the, the market for gas is you know, globally very, very large and increasing. And notwithstanding all the moves to decarbonisation, gas has still got a growing future in the eyes of all credible um, um, observers. I mean, Strike's got a great project. They do, um, for just now, have a bigger market cap than ours. They're targeting Western Australian uh, markets. We, next door to China, are targeting Chinese and Mongolian markets. And we're convinced that the world is short of gas in the right locations. China imports a lot, spends a lot. The reason we went to Mongolia in the first place is its market um, access that it has from being on the Chinese border. So how far away are you from being able to supply gas into China. That's still a number of years away. We, we started with an enormous exploration block of 30,000 square kilometres, uh, and we've you know, done successful work to date, but there's a few, quite a few more years of work yet to get to the point where you'd have enough resources at the confidence level that you could make decisions about pipelines and large scale developments, which would be you know, significant amounts of money involved and, and arguably with decisions being made with parties in partnership or, or instead of us. I mean, that's the nature of the resource game where the big sharks come along and gobble up the, the, uh, you know, the big fat minnows. Is it perhaps surprising then that your share price is as high as 45 cents. Any CEO is going to say, naturally, we're grossly underpriced as to where we're at. And uh, 
I mean, we, we think the history of coal seam gas in Queensland about 10 or so years ago indicated that coal seam gas companies can rise to multi-billion dollar in, in values and in, a, in the Queensland case were, were taken out by multinationals and delivered enormous value to their shareholders. And so we're still very, very far away from that and, and, and we see massive upside from here. Well, I wish you all the best with the next steps. Thank you very much for your time. Elixir Energy Managing Director, Neil Young in Adelaide. Thank you. Thank you.